Hello, another Sunday, another beautiful time to comment. It was one hour earlier, sorry. This was in response to Ngok was doing a live stream where they were gonna, giving out free codes with like Dragon Balls, disguises, and shit like that. And I was going off of what Sharp said about it being at 9 a.m. But it was an hour before that, and yeah, the rest is history. So I missed the stream. I was going to stream me streaming it, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh yeah, uh, so, so obviously he didn't put that in the comment, but he messaged me in the server that the best way to get Yardrat is get an invisible mask and then put Jero on your disciple and then have your disciple go to town. I like that method. Like that's how I got, that's how I got that shit on my like other accounts. But thing is like. I want to I wanna try something different, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've, I've seen people have like 30k HP and then they rely on armor so they don't die. And it's like, bro, I want to do that so badly. And I'm going to do it. Scambaba is still doing her thing since 2010, bro. Tell me about it, bro. Let's see. I agree with you and Sharp on this case. So in that regard, I'm going to support the community by keeping my money in my wallet from now on. That is what we like to hear, brother. The problem with uh, the problem players have with the company is that they operate at only at a legal and economic level. They lack ethics and definitely do not operate on any philanthropic level. While you're right that they respond to money, only responding to money is poor business practice in society's eyes. It's much about much more than just where players should spend money the company has just set money above the players at this point and it's blatant and well it's front to problem. i don't mind the top race events those are not where i have an issue the issue i have is where they have events with terrible rates those are the most these are the events players are most unhappy about and we have communicated with that with them the fact is they do not care and this what makes players more upset totally agree my main point is that they if they lack these fundamental corporate or social responsibilities, the company will not change. Not spending money will not change their behavior unless they change management and the organizational goals and priorities. The ultimate answer is to stop playing, period. Um, well, to that I say, they don't gain money by me playing. They gain my time which is also equally as valuable. My whole point with this video is we are funneling our money into such shitty events. And it's about time that, you know, either somebody said something about it because I see people just, just throwing, pretty much just throwing money away into this. And it's like, like I, I've I've seen people say like, oh man, I wish I had the money to you know buy this this this, and then I see them spending money on this, and it's like, dude, if you if you just saved your money from this event, if you didn't spend this, but you would have had like, you would have been like a third of the way to that spending goal. Um, the answer to just stop playing. Period. I think that's a bit more out there because the issue is like when they started off these uh, these top up events they were probably at its best state like you put in five dollars and you get something permanent easily but then we allowed them to go as far as okay now that you put in gems now you have a chance to get the item like we started participating in those types of events and we gave them more money for it so it allowed them to get away with shit like that. Us merely playing doesn't allow them to get away with stuff. It's pretty much when we give them our dollar, they say, how far can we stretch it? Us not playing is merely them saying, like, how far can we stretch their time? When game content... Bro, well, let me just say it like this. They don't want to give like meaningful updates like beers tournament and shit like that. Because our server just simply put isn't big enough. Um, that shit, that's how you get people's time. But with people's money, 
pretty much people just bypass all of that training and shit. They just put their put their wallet down and stuff like that. That's where my point is. But I I mean I agree with you totally. Um I'm for me, I'm not saying that they should look at just the money. My point is the only metric that a company can rely on at the end of the day is money in and money out. That's what every single business looks at. How much money are we spending? How much money are we making? That is like when you boil down everything, like at the end of the day, if customers love your product, that doesn't mean your company is going to be afloat. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how satisfied your employees are, the community is, that's not going to keep the company afloat. What's going to keep the company afloat is money in versus money out. And that's how the company is looking right now. Everything else is a bonus. So player satisfaction, customer satisfaction, everything else is a bonus to them. If people like their shit, which they do not right now, nothing else matters because they still have that core concept of, okay, money's coming in. People like the game. Simple as that. that that's how businesses look at it. And obviously we can put ethics into it, but it's ethics is last. Unfortunately, it's always, it's always, always, always going to be last on the totem pole. Let's see. The game literally only cares about ethics when it affects their bottom line. Like if you, Oh man. All right. Fuck. All right. Because if you look at the game, I've, I've shown this numerous times. I, I probably should make like an, a dedicated video on it though. Uh, I've shown this numerous times in live streams. They've ripped a probably 60% of the textures. Now they actually do make their own, it looks like, which is pretty cool. But they've ripped almost, I want to say, at least half of the game's textures from a game called Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. If ethics didn't matter to them when they were stealing a, a whole entire game, ethics is not going to matter to them now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty much what I want to say. Um, but hey, second podcast. <laughs> oh no, third podcast episode. We can talk about that if you're down. Let's see. I didn't know about the boycotts all halfway over, but I totally agree with you. Probably be the last event I do for a while. Bunch of us. Yeah, here's hoping we get something good in the coming weeks. Um, Debs will be back next week. So we'll go there. Yes. Why else would they charge so much for gems when they're easy for them to produce? If they were to decide to give each player 1 million free gems, for instance, it would cost them nothing on their end. Well, yeah, obviously. I'm, I'm not saying. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do not disturb so yeah obviously you put money to get gems like so cool um obviously should not be free i i think there should like you know the game has to make money somehow and gems is pretty much an instant means as as it pertains to that and in regards to charge so much for i'm not gonna lie bro if you look at how gems used to cost before, it used to be five dollars for hundred and fifty gems. Nowadays, we get five dollars. We get six hundred and fifty gems from for five dollars. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I've never, I've never really complained about the gem output from from money. I haven't topped up in a long ass time. I think the last time I topped up was when I made the top up tutorial. But in my opinion, I think I think the gem rates were like nice, like. It's pretty much how you spend it. Like, I can take 1,000 gems and, like, have that last throughout the entire year. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Well, it would seem... Oh, well, let me reply. Well, it's seem... it would seem based on the reactions to the Facebook post that there are at least a few thousand players across the Vietnam servers. As for world, it's hard to say, but it has been definitely more active in the recent months. Yeah, so the game, this game used to be one of the most popular games in Vietnam, in the Vietnamese servers. There was a Vietnamese player that joined up recently to, like, same, like, it, it almost, it's almost like the Vietnamese servers mirror ours in a way. Because this person 
said exactly the things that we've been saying for the past decade like game is boring so many botters and it's like bro you're in the vietnamese server like we fucking look at that shit as like high ground honestly uh <laughs> and it's like there's just so m there's so many problems across the board it's not with just the world server obviously i'd fucking i'd kill for beers tournament at this point bro. <laughs> oh man uh red flag let's see black flag and go to town i will never learn grammar okay oh this doesn't account for the ones i've responded to 6 a.m be sure to check your time zone oh so yeah that's where that came from um i fully agree with earth's having tribeam maybe like a 10th skill uh, I can already envision, yeah, yeah, tri, bro, I, I think about Earth's having tribeam all the fucking time, but the thing is, tribeam would be fucking wild. It would definitely have to be, like, a, a middle between Super Kame and Kamehameha. Um, especially if they do, like, Neo Tribeam, because I think Neo Tribeam is, like, spammable, right? I, I don't even know how that works. Uh, about Siri, oh my god. I remember, like, Dude, so in the weekly comment reading, like, I kept thinking in the back of my mind who Syria Yo was. And somebody in and Daydreamer said, yeah, this guy, he also, he, he wore King Kai mask. Like, I, I said, oh, the only thing I, 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 I might have remembered from Syria Yo is he wore a King Kai mask all the time. And it's like, I, fuck, I, I, bro, I have the download on every single player from, like, the past, like, 20 years, man. Like, the, even the people that thought about, that dreamed about this game, bro, I fucking have the download about them. Uh, but yeah. That covers this. Uh, Lord of like, Lord of subscribe, Lord of peace.